Hi, this is lesson 8.9 for course two. Today we're going to talk about surface area of cylinders and prisms. Remember, prisms. Remember to title your notes so we can um, get started and know what we're talking about. All right, these are the formulas that you're going to need to know for um, surface area. So if you want to copy these in your notes or just make sure that you have them in your foldable that you made in class today. You need to pause the video at this time you can. So let's look at this net. And this net, if we were to roll everything all up, this would end up being a cylinder. So it would look like this, like a can of soup or a can of vegetables. And pardon my drawing, I'm not the best artist here. So then what they give us, this distance here is the diameter which is 36 inches, and then the height from here to here is 27 inches. So what we're going to do is we're going to find the surface area. And this part right here, 2 pi r squared, pi r squared is area of a circle. So we multiply it by 2 because we have one circle and two circles that we need to find the area of. So take 2, and for pi we're going to substitute in 3.14, and then we're going to multiply it by the radius. Now, this here is the diameter 36, so to find the radius we have to divide that by 2, which means the radius is 18 inches. So we're going to multiply that by 18, and then square it. So we're going to have to use a calculator. And first we're going to do 18 squared, and then multiply it by 3.14, and multiply that by 2, which is 2034.72. So this here is the area of the circles. Now we need to find the area of the rectangle, which this is the side of the can that wraps around. Now if we were to take this paper and wrap it around, it would be the circumference of the circle. So the circumference of the circle is 2 pi r, and then we have to multiply it by h. So this distance is 2 times pi times the radius, and then this distance here is the height. So now we're going to find that part, which is the area of the rectangle. So we have 2 times 3.14 times the radius, which we figured is 18, and then the last thing we're going to multiply is the height, which is 27. So 2 times 3.14 times 18 times 27, which is 3,052.08. So now we have the area of the circles, and then we have the area of the sides of the can, and what we need to do is we need to add those together to find the total surface area. So we have 2,034.72 plus the area of the sides, 3,052. And when we add those up, end up with 5,086.8, and since we're finding surface area, it is inches squared. So this here is your answer. So there's two steps that you need to follow here. You need to find the area of the top and the bottom, which this part here is the area for the circles, and then you need to find the area of what wraps around the can. So that would be like the um, paper 
that goes around your can of vegetables or your can of soup. So this would be the, um, be the sides of the can. Okay, another figure, this here is a cube. If we were to put it all together, it would look So this is going to look like a cube or like a dice or a die. So this is seven centimeters, seven centimeters, and seven centimeters. So when we're finding surface area, we have to find the area of all of the faces. So we have the top, the bottom, the left and the right sides, and the front and the back. So if we look at these here, we know that all of these sides are 7 centimeters. So the area of the square 7 times 7 is 49. The area of, because it's a cube, all the areas are going to be the same because this is 7 by 7, so that would be 49. This is 7 by 7, so that would be 49. So all of these are going to be the same cubes are pretty easy to find the surface area of. So once you find the surface area of one of the faces, you just have to multiply it by six because there's six different faces. One, two, three, four, five, six. So 49, or four, I don't know why I wrote 46. 49 times six for all the faces is 54, 24, 29. So the surface area is 294 centimeters squared. So surface area is just the area of all the faces. Cubes are special, okay? You only have to find the area of one face and then multiply it by six. Other rectangular solids are not going to be as easy to, they're easy, but just not as easy as finding a cube. So let's look at the, um, triangular prism. So what we need to do is find the area of all the faces. So if we look at this and we call this part right here the front, we have to find the area of the triangle and then we also have to find the area of this triangle here which we'll call the back. So so the front triangle, remember area of a triangle is equal to one half the base times the height. So here is the base and this here is the height. So the front area is one half times eight times six. So we know eight times six is 48 and half of that is, so it's 24, meters squared. Now if we find the back triangle, that's going to be the same thing. One half, because this side here is going to be the same, this side right here is going to be the same measurement as this side here. So it's going to be six, and then this, the base, and the base are the same length. So again we have 24 meters squared. Now we need to find the measurement or the area of this part right here. So we can call that the top. So the top is 9 times 8, or 9 times 10. 9 times 10 is 90 meters squared. Now if we find the area of this right here, which we'll call the back, 
Oh, that's that is nine by in this distance here is six. So nine times six is fifty-four meters squared. And then finally, we're gonna find the area of we'll call this. bottom. And the bottom, this distance here is 8, and this distance here is 9, because these two sides are parallel to each other, so this is going to be the same length. So we have 8 times 9, which is 72 meters squared. Now we're going to take and add these all up. So we have 4, 12, 14, carry the 1, 16, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. 264 meters squared is the surface area. So if we wanted to wrap this in paper, that's how much paper we would need, 264 square meters of paper. Okay, and then finally, we want to find the surface area of this prism. Now, this is different than the, rec the cube because all the faces are not the same. So, if we call the faces the top and the bottom, the front, the back, and then the two sides will find the area. So let's look at the top. Here's the top of the figure. And we need to know the dimensions. So we know this here is going to be the same as this side here because they're parallel sides. So this would be 4 inches. If this is 5 inches, that means this distance is 5 inches. So the top is going to be 4 times 5, which is 20 square inches. Now the bottom is going to be exactly the same. 4 by 5. So 4 times 5. is 20 inches, and I forgot the square. Okay, so now let's look at the um, front and back. So here's the front of the prism. So we know this side is 4. If this side here is 6, that means this side is 6 inches. So we're going to multiply for the front. 4 times 6, which is 24 inches squared, and then the back is going to be the same, 6, and then this distance here, because it's parallel to this one, is going to be 4 inches. So we have 4 times 6, which is 24 inches squared. And now we just need to find the areas of the sides. So. Here's the left side, and the dimensions of that are 6 times 5, which is 30 inches squared. And then the other side, on the right, is going to have the exact same dimensions, so that's going to be 6 times 5 as well, so that's 30 inches squared. So you can see when you find the area or the surface area of a rectangular solid, there on um, a rectangular prism, the opposite sides of the figure are going to have the exact same area. So really, you only need to make three calculations and then add them together. So four plus four is eight, and then we have six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, hundred and forty-eight. Is squared. Let me just double check that again. 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. Yeah. So that's the surface area. Well, that's all for today.